so I, I kind of feel out of place. I feel underdressed today. I, you know, I, every day I have a choice of two colors of scrubs. They put on the light blue scrubs or the dark blue scrubs. And that's about as far as I go. So uh, anyway, but I, I just want to share with y'all a little story about Henderson. I, I know some of you guys have, you ladies have lived here your whole life. And so you will probably remember this as, as, as I tell you this story. Now, I'm not from Nacogdoches. I'm from Canton, Texas, which is up Highway 64 a little bit through Tyler. We call it the home of the world's largest flea market. And that probably discredits me right now to talk about it. But, 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 but when I was going to school or planning to go to school down here in Nacogdoches, and I never got there, by the way, ended up going somewhere else. But when I was going, uh, driving through Tyler and driving down Highway 64 into Henderson, I had this experience, and, and this is one of the reasons why I never stop in Henderson. It was such a scary thing. Now, understand, in Canton, Texas, we didn't, we didn't have any traffic lights back in the day. We just had a couple of four-way stop signs, and that was really about it. But then, you, know, you go through Tyler, and you go through all the lights in Tyler, down 5th Street, coming to Henderson, and then you come to this crazy thing that they call the circle. The circle. <laughs> okay, so those of you old-time Henderson folks, you know what the circle is. It's a, for those of you who are not from here, you know, it's, it's a little roundabout. And man, that was the most confusing thing I had ever experienced in my whole life, going through that circle. And uh, I, yeah, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing that they that they took it down, but but you know. I never knew what to do when I got there. I, I, you get on and there's, it had two lanes. And you get on the outside and go around. You get on the inside and go around. And I get on that thing and I just go around and around <laughs> and around. And sometimes I didn't try to go to Nacogdoches. I'd end up going north, going to going to Kilgore, somewhere else. I'd get, you know, I just kind of get lost and confused. I almost had a wreck one time. And uh, almost got a ticket from a police officer there on the circle. So I just had a lot of anxiety. And I, I guess that's why I didn't go southeast down to Nacogdoches to go to college. I ended up going, instead of going through the circle, I decided to go through Dallas traffic to go up north to, uh, to Sherman. But anyway, but I did graduate from college. And I want to share with you all something. And the reason, and the, and the reason why, and I can actually read, I'm kind of intimidated too because I've got some math teachers here today. But, 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 but I want to share with you kind of a concept. And, and I think in our culture today, I think we're facing something very similar. This confusing kind of circle of ideas, this roundabout ideas. And I think so many people... In, in our culture today, they can get lost and get misdirected, even wreck their lives based upon um, the way that people are thinking today. So